for those of you who have sharp memory or sharper than mine, there was a cliffhanger that um, there was an anomaly detected. Um, but as horrible as it sounds, I want to retcon that in favor because that was just something going to be something minor. But because I have something very grand planned for this session. Oh yeah. So and especially I got a pliable we have a memory in that we, regard. And we got a we got a shorter you know session length, so I just want to get straight to it if that's okay with everybody else. Yeah. Okay, so you head back to your <clears throat> en route to um to anchor point. Um and you you know, eventually cryo, you know, like your know, your AI. Well first I should ask uh Hana, are you doing anything uh notable roaming around the ship? Making sure it's up to snuff. All right. uh, accessing people's personal files to figure out what the what the heck are with these humans. <laughs> just mine like... will just mine might just throw up a big like middle finger JPEG or something. <laughs> or, or no, ah, uh, no, no, uh, no, uh, no, you didn't say the what, magic word. Let me be coding back in the seventies. Uh, right. Blow it and blow it. Like, you know, it's the listing of when it was taken. It's like, last company review meeting. <laughs> cool. So, uh, on a deck, I mean, it's optional if you guys want to jump there, but, you know, we'd say everybody was in cryo, and I will, uh, well, I, everybody minus Laro. Laro stays in, or actually, never mind. Uh, Laro wakes up because she was, I was just remembering to give my oriented. Dax brought up that Laro was previously in medical, so she and Kat. Um, have both, you know, recovered from their injuries, and so they're waking up alongside the rest of you. Uh, uh, Anna has coffee and donuts ready. She had time that to lovely. Them. And they're Krispy Kreme-style donuts, too. <laughs> oh, mm, no extra dairy today, just coffee. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> she gives you the cup and then, like, an entire pitcher filled with coffee after like that too she takes she grabs the second one edward mccoy i hope your trip was satisfactory also drag sierra's token on another thing just aside there, there it is It'll be satisfactory as long as i can get the cork off my bottle which he promptly manages and takes a swig raising it briefly to Hannah before tossing uh, some of it back <laughs> I take it we're not at anchor point are we at anchor point? On cue, as you bring that up, uh, you hear Mother say, Alert! Incoming transmission hailing from the U.S. CSS Thea. Please report to the bridge as soon as possible. God fucking damn it. That's the... Oh, yeah. About to say. As a no. Please head to the bridge immediately. Well, keep in mind, it's not like an oh, urgent thing. If you need to, uh, you know, you obviously, if you need to get dressed, use the use the restroom, shower, get hydrated, because you do have to, you know, well, actually, no, you, you guys had your coffee, you're good. Um, so there's no urgent rush. It's not like a critical thing, but, you know, they're saying like, okay, you have a new, a new objective. I mean, we got woken up from a transmission. It's probably urgent enough. Please head to the bridge at your nearest convenience. If there was anything yeah, else in yeah. existence with it. would take a while. Uh, what was that? I'm sorry. Sierra. Yeah, if it's at convenience. <laughs> yeah, it I'm not. I'm not moving around for a while. Sierra, can you check on, whilst the captain's still out indisposed, can you check on the... Yeah. Of course, please. Well, uh, no, Captain Leroux is up, and so is Cat. Um... Oh. Um, Laro is just kind of, uh, you know, still kind of clutching her, uh, you know, side where she got wounded. It's like, oh, my fucking head. You know, just, just kind of not really handling the cryo sleep well for some reason. Where's the captain? Uh, the captain, uh, Laro's right here. 
I'm just saying, that, um, as, as I was, Nock told us he's not going to be here today. A deck. So, oh, right, 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 A deck. Um, so yeah, I'll just move to B. Uh, but yeah, um, Loro, I'm just temporarily taking over Loro per Nock's uh, approval. So, um, I guess I will move her onto the, oh no, she's already on the map, so let me just delete. Yep, still in okay. medbed. So, okay. yep, good. So, yeah. uh, I'll be going to take a shower, get myself ready, all of that, and okay. join in the bridge. All right, so Loro, you know, has that, like, like twisting on captain's hat like cutter in the opening of halo wars 2 marches across the ship uh so who all goes to the bridge i would imagine sierra but yeah I go yeah i'll go to the bridge uh are you able to move yeah. your token by the way um a little bit yeah uh well yeah we're currently uh the thing with the way i have the map set up is you can freely jump between the decks of the ship so you can go from b deck to a deck and just look at whatever everybody's currently gathering at the bridge on b deck yep. right so and you're i offer to... LaRoe a swig of my canteen oh, no thank you I'm a pilot i go here <laughs> it's Miss Drake. you're you're a pilot <laughs> you're a pilot you ain't getting any ah <clears throat> oh. Not yet. That's okay. And last day What's up, Connor? Nice Unless you come by, you come by after hours. I got a mean brew going on in the, in the still in the back. Um, Miss Drake, your well, stocks have increased 2.475% since you last were informed. Thank you for the update. I'll have a look at that later. Let's so see. as you... So as you reach the bridge, uh, you see Anchor Point, but you also see another ship of the same class uh, classification and appearance as the Hyperion. At the captain's terminal is a blinking light indicating an incoming message. Well, not, like at, not necessarily the captain's terminal, but just as like the communications. So who wants to take the call? Uh, Drake will. Okay. Uh, so you get a message. USCSS Hyperion, this is Captain Kendrick of the USCSS Thea, registration number 081572. We're under orders to retrieve the cargo you re received the cargo you retrieved from LaSalle on your way back to MP412, uh, requesting permission to dock near starboard side. Over. Mm. Yep, give us, t give us 20 minutes, we'll extend the vestibule to you. 10-4. Um, and then you hear, like, the transmission cuts out. We're not seriously doing that, right? Uh, it's kind of amazing you did not try to validate anything they said. Or find out if I already they knew they were coming. Otherwise, with that, with that, as it's going on, Hana's checking the, the, the orders. Uh, uh the orders? They sent transmission, correct? There should yeah. have some sort of optimization. Yeah, if you code. want to check the uh, the database and scan the registry number, uh, you you can do so. It doesn't require a roll. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, you find out that the Thea is in fact a legitimate Wayu SEV like the Hyperion, and uh, the guy who introduced himself, Captain Kendrick, uh, Captain Andrew Kendrick, is the appointed captain. So, what you find out uh, from transmissions is that this guy actually does have orders to take the cargo. I was well aware this was going to happen. We can just tell them to fuck off. You think they'll listen? <laughs> nope, unless you don't want that bonus. Well, you mean they're supposed to take it over from us? You think really think they work for the same guys? Hey, I well, I knew well ahead of time that there, this was going to happen. It's fucking fishy, is what I'm saying. Fishy, yes, but you know the company. I was saying hey. they're not working for LaSalle. It was just the same guys trying to swipe it back from us. Wait, are these they're, they're Waylon Yutani? Are yeah. they? Yeah, Hana checks the log or like the database, and this everything he said checks out. The ship is the Wayland Yutani ship, the Thea. The captain, the guy who introduced himself as Kendrick, is Andrew Kendrick. He's the captain. Registry number is authentic, and the orders that he has check out. 
So these guys are Waylon Butani. Well, all right then. As long as we get paid, let's get rid of this shit. It's their problem then. Yeah. All right, Sierra, can you go ahead and dock us on starboard to one, please? Affirmative. Thank you. If anyone needs me, I'm going to be in my room. I'm waiting for this coffee to hit in. Do you need me to assist you at all, Miss Drake? Mm mm. I'm fine. I'm just. It's just the hypersleep. It... Just kicking me around a little bit harder. I see. Dr. <sighs> McCoy, my services are not needed with the strike currently. Is there anything you need assistance with? Uh, not really, love. <sighs> we'll be fine. I see. <sighs> Stella Crocs, is there anything I can assist you with? <laughs> Childminding services much? On me? What is it? <laughs> Hana was trying to see if you if uh, you wanted uh, anything from Hana, from you. No, no, no. Not even childminding. It's good. Uh, we're still going to be waking up, getting all of that going. Okay. So in the meantime, so Sierra, so the uh, the Thea is going to be uh, docking with the ship. You could either, um, like, if you want to make a piloting roll to, you know, I guess potentially show off and or do it quicker, uh, you may do so. Uh, no, my pleasure. And if you want to push that for extra successes, like to do like stunts to show off or do it in half the time, uh, you can just hit push. Yep. Oh, there you go. Whoa. Yeah. Um, okay. Wait, hold on. Why did it push twice? Oh, wait. Did you roll reckless? reckless. Uh, no, I, I didn't think I got it. <laughs> oh. Okay, well. Uh, so um, I guess the second one uh, won't count. You didn't succeed anyway. Just make sure to remove that extra stress. Okay. Um, and then you know to do that, you would just uh, you know click the minus sign on the yeah. So, um, okay. So you you know you pretty gracefully uh, bring the Hyperion alongside. Uh, Kendrick, you hear over the radio? Wow, that's some uh, fancy flying. Who's behind the Who's behind the controls? Aye, aye. <laughs> nice. uh, and he's like, uh, yeah, nicely done. And so you, um, you know, you hear and feel a firm clang against the, uh, the airlock and the hyper. And I forgot that there isn't necessarily a starboard airlock. There's basically the airlock. Well, actually, no, in C deck, I think. Yeah, there's the front airlock that the fucking pirates came in. Um, huh. So basically you dock with that. Um, and not necessarily everybody needs to go down to C deck if you want to accompany. I mean, I would assume like the bare minimum is Drake would need to go down there. Um, yeah, but anybody else who wants she'll to head down there when she Are would go down there slips? once. Uh, what? Are there any donuts, donuts left? Any donuts left? Uh, yeah, there would be. There would be donuts. Yeah, All right. What flavor? Um, uh, normal frosting. Um, so then you, uh, so Drake heads down to the airlock. Uh, when you reach the airlock and cycle it, you see, uh, a curly raven haired man in layer clothing standing by with a security officer behind him and a small team of guys with a large dolly on standby. The man and the security officer have to stand up against the wall of the airlock in order for the dolly to get through. After the guys pass you, the raven haired fellow and the officer stepped up to you. Uh, you are... Agent Drake, right? Affirmative. Captain Andrew Krenjik, nice to meet you. He offers the hand to shake. Uh, takes the, the hand and shakes back. Yeah. Sorry we didn't give you uh, any advance notice uh, you know, prior to our initial call. Company higher-ups gave us our orders last minute. That's uh, okay, I kind of expected that. Um, so he, you know, with mentions with the crew, is like... Uh, 
So where did uh where was this uh object that you recovered? Where was where did you store that? Uh I think we would have stored it in uh, the we where did we put it? The sinus we took it to the science module last, didn't we? Well, I know you you guys experimented on it in either the science module or Scilab too, but I don't know where you stored it. I think we would have kept it there the whole time. Okay. Um, it's up on deck B. Um, we were storing it there, keeping it in stasis, making sure it's, everything was intact. All right, copy that. We'll be uh, we're heading up to uh, to go get it. And All right. so, uh, you can tag along, or he will, uh, you know, he and his men will just kind of go on ahead up to B deck. She'll follow. All right. Um, so he then, you know, because you're following along, he turns to you and is like, so what did you recover there anyway? We heard that it was uh, cargo that you got from LaSalle, but, uh, what, it, what was it? To be honest, we still don't know. It just seems to be something of a, uh, recap on what the, the description is, please. Uh, you found it was a very geometric... Uh, like escape pod, and inside was an insectoid alien creature that it was sort of like man height, bug forearmed thing. Um, she'll go ahead and say, pretty much, it's a nice big stasis pod, is what I can best say. It has a creature inside. Other than that, not much else we do know. Well, I mean, I guess uh, you know the higher ups in the, uh, the in the science division will have to take a look at it. Um, yeah. So, you know, they go down. I guess I'll just draw a line. So they go up. You know, this elevator here. Or, oops, I don't have the like. You know, this one here, and then they just kind of you know go down the ramp. Is Hana standing out in the hall? Yeah, Hana is going to you know be assisting. Okay. So you assist yeah, the guys over. with the dolly. I just make sure uh, they wouldn't break anything in my lab. <laughs> nice. Um, so he goes and uh, you know they they go and start trying to carefully load up the the pod. Um, they they sort of heave it up and lift it onto the uh, onto the dolly, and then from there it becomes basically backtracking. Um, down to C deck, and then out the airlock. You guys fly safe now. Thanks, you too. Uh, we'll report into the company. In the meantime, Agent Drake, uh, Agent Bragg seeks a word with you as soon as you're all docked and situated. At that, he smiles and nods as he turns to head out. Said with the pleasure. So with docking, be, with anchor point being pretty routine, uh, and because you know we've done that like a ton, we'll just skip that and just say you know you dock. So we assume we don't open the hull. <laughs> what hull? <laughs> the hull, like we don't tear open the hull of the space oh, station. Oh, uh... oh, you wish to need to open the hull? It's like Hana, no, she. No, I didn't mean it. No, don't stop. <laughs> Hana, ha Hana runs on uh, partial Siri code from the year 2022. <laughs> suicide mode activated. <laughs> I found two restaurants. <laughs> oh, great. Would you like Cortana, Cortana got her? Oh, All right. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. Um, and then I will also drag... Um, uh, Sierra onto the map. Or, oh no, that's fucking that's Loro. Uh, Sierra. Okay. So, um, y'all, you know, coming from this, uh, you know, transfer gate, yep. of course. Um, standard practice, you know, obviously is, you know, of course, you leave your like any firearms or anything either on the ship or at the security office. Mm. Um. So, um. You know, Drake, I guess because you have business with your superior, uh, we'll focus on you first. Mm -hmm. And then as you're, and then Laro is going with, as you're, um, you know, uh, as she's kind of going along with you, but then, you know, on her data pad, she then turns to you to say, it says, uh, apparently I have business with, with Bragg too. Oh, uh, wow. Well. Looks like we're going to have a good uh, common date with Bragg. 
Joys. Oh, All right. So, um, then, uh, so you had it, so I take it, and also, uh, Hana, are you going along, or are you just doing robot stuff elsewhere? <laughs> I you say robot stuff. It's like she's a robot stuff. I imagine <laughs> Hana's standby mode would just be some of the Kraftwerk. Uh, oh, no, like, it's like, like Hana's standby mode is undo undoes the top button in the shirt. <laughs> oh, God. Activating infiltration mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, All right. So, um, yeah, you. Uh, yeah, you would go and presumably uh, knock on, on the door. Oh, yes, very much so. All right. Door opens up, and uh, Loro kind of takes point, falls into the room. Um, Bragg is sitting behind her desk, of course, but for the first time, she does not look happy. Uh -oh. And <laughs> Who pissed in your coffee today, Bragg? <laughs> you did, as a matter of fact. Um, and then she first, uh, she's like, I'll, I'll handle you in a second. And then looks to Leroux, slightly less annoyed, and she's saying, Captain Leroux, um, higher ups at Wayland yutani uh, require a word with you? And Leroux then goes, uh, regarding what? And uh, Bragg is like, I'm afraid they would not tell me. All they told all they told me is, to, told you is to report to their... Um, their transports and uh, report elsewhere for a debrief. Uh, that is all, and you may be dismissed. And then Loro is like, "Thank you, ma'am," and then heads out, looks at uh, Drake and Hana, and then just goes off. Okay. So, Bragg. Then Hana her eyes the pan. Uh, yeah, that's up to Hana if she wants to tag along. Uh, yes, Hana will be tagging along with Drake. Okay. So I'll move you into the All room. Right. So after, like, as her eyes follow um, uh, Loro, Bragg, then her her head pans back over to Drake and is like, "Hey, Jin Drake, uh, I'll get right to it. Is it true that you used a you threatened another ship with a railgun? I used every means and assets to my disposal at the time when Captain Loro was incapacitated." <laughs> I love the idea if it was fucking Matthew saying that. Um, and she's saying, it's like, do you realize what, what this could have done to the company if, if the Colonial Marshals... Do you have any idea how many strings I had to pull to prevent an, an incident that could have... Oh. <sighs> Think somehow my bribery didn't work. No shit it didn't. Well, you can't say I didn't try. Yeah, but you could have... You could have, you could have done anything but threaten them with a railgun. They were not going to go ahead and hand it over to us willingly, so we had to go ahead and come up with another way. I was hoping to avoid having to bribe them. I, I was hoping for an intimidation act. Okay, I made a bad calculated error on my part. She pauses to think about it. It's like, okay. Here's this. No criminal charges will be filed against you this time. But to prevent a repeat of the incident, we're going to have to remove the railgun. We cannot risk it being used to threaten other ships again. Why not just go ahead and take away the power source and make it look like it's actually appears to be working, but it's actually just a, I don't know, a empty shell? And she says, "Like no, that that wouldn't that would not be acceptable. That would still give that would still give people the because what what would you have it on for cosmetic reasons? Hey, intimidation is the best be, best part of valor. Yes, but intimidation with a military issue weapon. Hey, the company would use any means necessary to go ahead and accomplish their mission, would they not?" Yeah, but what What sort of business Look, do you think it, we're running here that we just go around threatening our competitors? Well, they weren't going to go ahead and give it to us willingly. <sighs> do 
You might have a point, but that said, I'm s the railgun will have to go. In the meantime, I will have your payments transferred to you. As as promised, there will be a bonus. Okie dokie, that's and fine. I'm in sure, the meantime, um... and yeah. she slides a uh, you know a folder with some documents. Here is your next mission. Oh, joy. And this is where she'll start to read it. And you still have the, the briefing that I sent you, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Am I to understand this correctly? We're heading to Theseus Station? Theseus Station, yes. Oh, that's a far, out, far way out, isn't it? Uh, no farther out than MP412. Hmm. Uh, well, I won't disagree with that. <sighs> All right, fine. I'm sure the crew will enjoy having a enjoyable trip. I'm sure they will. Anything else that has to happen? Regarding the mission? Yes. Obviously, no railgun this time. No railgun. And... Uh, but she says, uh, but I mean, that's the mission is written. If you have any questions, and then she has uh, her hands together, just sort of sitting on her desk, just kind of like putting on like a pleasant sort of act, even though she's not exactly in a good mood. Wait, hold on. We're receiving half payment when we get there, and half payment when we get back. Yes. Why? Yeah, it's compensation for uh, for a continued uh, quality career that you've been you know, you've demonstrated yourselves as a, a very capable crew. The Raptor Safari, fending off the pirates, dealing with the situation at New Gettysburg, everything. You your crew, in spite of your questionable means at times, uh, have proven itself quite competent. We felt that a reward was in order. Uh, well. I guess they'll just have to deal with the fact that basically we're going to get half payment early and half payment later. I guess that's not much we can do about that. <sighs> All right. Well, looks like I'm going to have to... So what's happening with Laro? Is she going to be coming back before we go off mission? That depends on, uh, on what the higher-ups want with her and how long they will have her. Or have her company, I should say. So that means I'm still in charge until she re returns. Yes. And in the absence of in the absence of the captain, the XO will will serve as your second in command. Okay. Oh, fun. And just so everybody knows, uh, the XO in terms of the crew protocol would be the pilot. Yeah. Oh. This is going to be fun. All right. Thank you, Bra uh, Bragg. My pleasure. And with that, I take it you head out? Yep. She does. Okay. So, uh, in the meantime, uh, everybody would have received their payment, and I believe you jotted down their payment, yes? Like you were keeping yes, log of Yes, I did. Right. Let me go ahead and write it up for everyone. Yeah. You could post it in the, in the Foundry chat or in the... Uh, the I'll, I'll post it in the foundry chat. That way it's a lot yeah. easier. Yeah, that way my what my viewers, yeah. what view I have can actually see it. Um so Yeah, I'll just I'll just we'll just wait for the payment so that way people can uh you know know how much money they have to spend uh before we start focusing on others. Excuse my bad spelling. Oh, actually, let's just go ahead and pop down here. <laughs> uh, what's Sierra's last name? Romeo? C Sierra's last name is Romero. Romero, spelled the same way as Romeo. Romero. Yep. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to send that as Hana. Oh, well. Okay. That's uh, okay. Identity crisis, you know. 
Uh, yeah, I just called it. You sent. I don't know how we'll say uh, that's that. called the Oracle of Delphi uh, subunit being activated. And I've got to uh, quickly just add these up. Oh, yep, that's actually easy. Ah, oh, thank you for thank you for that. For what? Mm. Uh, Isaac sent me the spelling of how Romero is done. Uh, well, I, I actually did. I just had Hana selected. Mm, okay. Just updated I it. it I got one. I got. Wow. All right. Uh, sorry, I've got to quickly calculate this one up. I can quickly send the rest. Yeah. Uh, are you sure you calculated that right? That I did. It's at add the extra zero. Nice paycheck. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, you got well. I mean, you guys brought back a fucking alien specimen, so combined with your. Uh, and then, <laughs> just so that you guys are aware of how much. Nope, I done that wrong. Uh, to, and this is how much Drake would have as has received. <laughs> Company agent has a higher salary. So I will add that money to Larose sheet. Um, so, uh, oh, my job has quite almost well. 30,000. Was that 148,500? I was just like, that is it. correct. All right. I was just adding that as a, a note to that to Knox sheet, so that way whenever he gets back, that's how much <coughs> money he can calculate. Um, so, yep, yep. Uh, you guys are in the money, so I guess we will focus on Sierra first. Mm -hmm. So your, yeah. uh, you know, your basically your phone or whatever device you have, you know, you get notified that you got one beefy fucking payment uh, from that last stop. Well. Uh... Zero be ecstatic. <laughs> Play get the bings going off going bing 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 bing. Oh, paychecks in. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I need to play this. If only I had the sound file before I go. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the only oh thing I god, thought about. <laughs> the only thought I had was B Arthur doing the whole whoa. <laughs> okay, that just shows my age. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so, but yeah, you and get... I'm gonna go on the shopping spree. <laughs> the shopping spree to end all. You'll buy anchor. Um, but anyway, so you have a couple different options. Like, there's a basically the equivalent of like a Walmart that sells general stuff, and then like this one right here sells more like frontier supplies. Um, yeah. more shit like uh, basically like climbing gear and flashlights and all sorts of like stuff that you would need for work on an alien planet. Oh, okay. So you walk in and then the uh the guy there's like, How do you how are you doing, ma'am? What can I get for you? Well I'm I'm always a little bit heavy. I'm looking for a big spender here, you know. <laughs> and so his eyes just kind of wide like, Oh, is that so? Well, I've got a quite an assortment of, of stuff here, and then uh, he's, he's he gets out from behind his desk um, and starts showing off. Uh, it's like, oh, we've got we got everything here, you know. We've got um, you know the top notch uh, high beam flashlights. We've got you know uh, PDTs, um, you know maintenance equipment, everything. Just can't look at their maintenance equipment. I'm a pilot, and I want to make sure my ship is up to snuff. You know, I'm going a long distance here. All right, all right. Uh, so he then would mentions like, uh, well, you know, some of our more like our maintenance products. We've got these. Uh, you know, he lifts the maintenance jack. One hands like for uh, you know for heavy duty uh, maintenance work, and then we've got 
you know, I guess you got like a hull breach or damage, any kind of damage, pulls out briefly, ignites uh, like a, a display model cutting torch, and then like, you know, you know, ex extinguishes the flame. So we got that stuff. If you need more, uh, you know, if you need digital repairs and troubleshooting, we've got, uh, you know, these Seekson brand diagnostic devices. Oh, any I of that? that uh, there. Uh, what? Uh, the, the Seekson device. It's like, oh, yeah. Digital thingy? Yeah, it's for uh, troubleshooting computer and mechanical systems. Uh, you know, you can use it for, uh, you know, for, for a number of things, really. I've been thinking about updating my software. All right, it'll be, it's yours for $300. How about a little 500 you know, just for you? Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, and so he, uh, you know, like gives, you know, um, gives you the, uh, like, you know, pulls out a box. It's basically like one of those like store, like electronic boxes with, uh, you know, seeks and branded diagnostic stuff on it. And, you know, it's got, you know, it's pretty seeks and branded and they're like, oh, it's a seeks and device. It's a seeks and device made by seeks and all this stuff, but it is a diagnostic device. It's quite heavy, uh, in the hand. It's not necessarily like a lightweight like feather light thing, oh. but yeah, the diagnostic device, I can add that to your sheet. Um, okay. So, uh, let's see, Sierra, Romero, inventory, um, six and system diagnostic device. Okay. There you go. All right. So he, uh, you know, the, the hands over the device is like, all right, ma'am, is there uh, anything else I can get you? Uh, I'll be all for now. Thank you very much, sir. Huh. Thank you. Do do come back. And then he, uh, you know, like nods to you and then gets back to work. So, um, there, uh, so let's see. So, uh, Madeline, what's up? Uh, I'm going to do some little shopping here and there, uh, pop off the ship's supplies, especially maintenance stuff, uh, reserve a room at the inn because this is going to be the first time we're going to be at a place for a bit. I'm going to maximize that and not have to sleep in the ship. It'll be great. You'll love it. So are you going to where did like, Madeline oh, go? Wow, because we I could see probably nothing. get like a, a MIG. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, we can actually get a combat APC, guys. <laughs> we have a lot of money. There's a lot of things we could buy. Remove yeah. railgun, add APC. <laughs> no, 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 no. We get a personal fighter attack craft, and that's going to be better. Well, I can see the future interaction uh, going on. I just love that. So, uh, the real gun, you guys get an APC or the attack fighter. I mean, <laughs> if we do pull our money together, we can also get a tank. <laughs> what have I done? Oh my god. <laughs> well, no, I mean, in seriousness, though, I mean, they would not sell military fucking, you know, like, equipment there. Um... Uh, but... Sure, Drake. He's got not a legally way of... to us. They wouldn't legally sell it to us. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you never know. Drake could have contacts and be able to go ahead and say, "Hey, what can you do for You're a, good a science deal, crew? Eh? Why the fuck do you need to say?" <laughs> Look, we're one. We're one good roll away from becoming a paramilitary contractor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look for guns. Except I don't think we've been in character. Well, I moment. mean. It's the big thing. Do we want a gunship or do we want a fighter? <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's a real question, isn't it? And, and and the thing is, the Cheyenne is worth nearly three point one million, so we're not even near there yet. No, 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 no. We're mm. looking at the crocodile. Oh, yeah, but, which was, wait, wait, wait! But that's UPP. That's UPP. Why do we have? Yeah, UPP but which ships? ones have the better ch better cup holders, though? Mm, you got to think you about think... the cup holders. You'll think you'll, they'll give you group discount. Uh, you really think uh, this is like a U.S. military-made dropship? If you ask for a cup holder, that's going to like triple the price. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <laughs> true, 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 true. Forgot that. Have you used some oh, pilot suits? It's just going to be like on the UPP one. It's like, yeah, we'll just duct tape something, and then you can just put it in. 
Oh, God. I just love that original line. We could buy a man. She could just make you cup holders, you know. Yeah. True. I like some seat warmers. Oh, yeah. Heated seats. Maybe get one of those massage chairs in there while we're at it. Yeah. Um, just out of curiosity, because I've just I'm just reading the first line. Because the planet is an ice moon, is it suitable for something to traverse across? Well. The briefing was is saying that uh, you're not going to the ice moon. You're going to the station oh. above the moon. Oh, that's also true. But there's also caves down there. We might well want to turn around and go, let's explore. Let's be oh, adventurous. Well, uh, I'll also get cold weather gear. Okay. Um, those amazing things where if you break it, the chemical reaction makes it into a hand warmer, which is going to be great. Yeah, let me see. I, I should have bought that climbing gear, huh? <laughs> I mean, you could always go oh, back. Oh yes, and that uh, you have to use rope. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, cold weather parka, a uh, hundred bucks. Oh yeah, I can buy all the cool equipment. <laughs> all right. So as that... emergency, Hana can be used as a flotation device <laughs> along with a heat source. Okay, data. <laughs> I don't want to know what part of her makes her a flotation device, but I can guess what. <laughs> her head. It's full of so much air. Yeah, her head. Yeah. It's full of air. <laughs> um, so I doubt with... it would be just her head. Oh, gosh. So, Madeline, are you going to buy a cold weather parka? Yeah, I'm buying it. Okay, I'll add um... it to your sheet. Or are you able to add it to yours? Yeah, I'm able to. Okay, so you can just add it to your sheet. Okay. Um... I'd so, want one too as well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll probably do you want to add same. one to yours, or do you need me to? Um, if you could do that, that'd be great, because I always forget how to do this. Sure. I'll deduct yeah. the money. Right. Yep. Um, I, uh, uh, yeah, Drake's also going to buy okay. cold weather gear. Okay, you add one to yours, or do you need me to? No, no, I can do it now. Okay. Yeah, you can do it. All right, so you got a handle, so just subtract the 100 bucks. Uh, is anybody going to um... buy anything else? Um, hold on, what, what's, we might need, just in case with anything to do with caves, there's always the possibility there might be some issues where we have to have some climbing gear, so we might need to buy climbing gear too. Alright, uh, I'll buy a folding wrench. Or winch. Yeah, if you're gonna go in a cave, you know, we do actually have enough money to buy pups. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That is also true. Um, I'll let, uh, leave that with me. I'll sort that out. Keep in mind, uh, that you, like, as I said, uh, your mission is just to go to the station. You never know. We might have to go down there eventually. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, true. Sure. I guess while that. you're doing that, uh, so, and then we pan over to McCoy, um, who, I mean, I know your token's in a restaurant. I don't know if you're in the restaurant, but. Yeah, probably getting drunk. Uh, well, there is the, like, the bar and grill. Like, what you're in right now is Kusanagi's, uh, the Japanese steakhouse. Oh, I'll go to the bar and grill, that's for okay. sure. Yeah, I'll some steak right now. Yeah, I'll just steak and a good fucking whiskey, or. Just a beer to start off with. So yeah, C deck two is where the bar is. I'll move out all the characters who aren't actually in there right now. Um, oh, I'm already. I'm still here for last. Yeah, time. yeah. Um, well, I know my I know my usual spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also moved uh, Sierra's token on in case uh, you want to go into the bar. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, still in the bar. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Um, let me just double check, uh, something real quick. Right, and then, uh, I just need to check through my notes. Um, so the, uh, the guy, you know, the, the bartender there, uh, sees like, well, hey, 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 it's been a while since I've seen y'all in here. What's new?
Ah, uh, usual shit. Job well done. Now in the mood for steak. You still got that one. Great. Oh, glad to hear. What y'all? What were y'all up to? Moving cargo. Moving the best cargo. Well paying cargo. All right, uh, y'all take a seat. I'll get your food out there in a couple minutes. Ah, uh, much obliged. So, do you sit at the uh, at the bar, or are you gonna just sit at a table together? I'm gonna sit with McCoy because I want him to like me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be at the bar then. McCoy likes no one, only alcohol. <laughs> 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 Well, that means uh, you need to change your name to something that's a drink. Uh, I suggest tequila. <laughs> Sierra Tequila. Oh my god! My first name is Tequila. Sounds like a fucking stripper name. I know, right? Uh, hey, tequila was used. Tequila was used in the Lost stripper. Island time. Space strippers. What, like Hannah? Yeah. I think at this point, oh. Hana would probably have a drink named after. There'd probably be a drink named after the Hana units. No, <laughs> Hannah's not a stripper. No, you never know. Not, I mean, not just no, a stripper. Hana does not, like Hana that. Does not take off her clothes for money. Hana takes her clothes off when ordered to do. But literally fucking anyone from the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, generally only her owner. Unless they're into that kind of thing. Okay, on that note, uh, is there anything Christ. that uh, Sierra and McCoy discuss uh, at the bar? Well, I'll be just eating and drinking, so... I'll be talking with Sierra McCoy. would have to take the initiative. Hey there, McCoy friends. So, what do you think of that last mission? Were you surprised about the Weird stuff to have us do, eh? As long as it doesn't get us fucking killed. He's like Goku. <laughs> yep. That would not surprise me. So many empty plates. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, we're not those down. Down. Wait, so many empty plates. Is this Hyperion or uh, the Cyberpunk game where Crush is stuffing his face at Olive Garden? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Depends. Uh, it depends if McCoy really eats like Goku and then uh, charges it on our uh, dear company ex account and then realizes uh, <laughs> they're now have to declare bankruptcy. <laughs> God. Oh, shit. Um. So, uh, if you. Wait, so you think McCoy has the power to consume so much alcohol that you will declare bankruptcy? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Think no. No, yes. <laughs> All right, then. I'm, I'm asking McCoy since he's a you know what. So, do you know about the you know what? Do you know about you know what's? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck you talking about, you uh. fucking idiot. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Why is not that one working? You see this fork? Uh huh. You want to see it up close? <laughs> Shit. Uh -huh. oh, sh Shut the fuck up. Oh, oh do you, do you, are you, you know the, the thing starts with the A. A of asshole, you mean? No! Another thing. Thing that you're good at. Telling you to fuck off? No! The other thing. Uh -huh. Go to be friends with me. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. No, that's what Hannah's for. <laughs> Why don't you talk to your new friend, Hannah? Leave me a fucking piece. You know I can't talk to unless the owner wants her to you. No, Han will talk to you. I mean, she is supposed to be friendly with the crew. 
Depends on the definition of friendly. <laughs> oh, shit. Physical friendliness. <laughs> Cuddle mode on. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, so is there anything else that gets discussed? Or are you guys ready to embark on your mission? Well, I guess these pounding sticks, I'll keep trying to pry. <laughs> McCoy just finishes groveling. Uh, he grovelingly finishes his food and just gets the fuck out of there, like slamming dollar bill on the table. <laughs> just gives the barman a nod, and he's just out of there, fucking pissed off. Give the barman a wave, and I follow. <laughs> Congratulations, you just made the shit list. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Oh man, that was funny. Uh, okay, so I guess everybody by that point, you know, by that point, the, uh, you know, we'll say enough time has passed to where everybody can rendezvous with the ship and the railgun is gone. Um, and uh, do you, now, Drake, did you say you sent everybody the briefing or are you going to like discuss it? Yep, everyone's got, uh, no, 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 I, I've sent it to everyone uh, okay. on their. Obviously, during the time when she had it and she's reading through it, she's gone. All right, better send it off. I mean, well, I mean, did Can you actually send it to the players, or? Yeah, yeah, I sent okay. it to the players. Okay, so you all um, get the briefing. But oh yeah, okay, yeah. Um, Drake will just quickly pop into the market to go ahead and say, "All right, pop unit, do you have one?" There's... Oh yeah, that's the only one all I right. got in stock, but. How good is it? Yeah, he just he just taps on the box that it's in. Brand fucking new, ma'am. Good. Company discount. She's she's gonna turn and say, I'll pay for uh one so she'll pay one, uh, one fifth less of its price. So pretty I think it's what, fifty thousand for one, so she was gonna try to go ahead and say Forty thousand. Forty thousand. That's the last one I got in stock, and I don't know what you mean about company discounts. This isn't a company station. Hey, mate, I made up my own rule. Let's just go with it. Come on. Uh, no, you don't make. This is my shop. I make up my rules. Hey, we come here more often than anyone else. Yeah, your customers. That doesn't mean I'm going to give you a d giant discount on a fifty thousand dollars surveillance device. Is it now, if you want, you could try to manipulate him? him. I was just about to say to try to convince him to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I will say that, that would be you before you roll. It'd be like at a say minus one because he's pretty apprehensive about. And it's like, no, you're not going to just fucking sell it for that. Yeah, you succeed. <laughs> he's like, he ain't gonna get no nowhere with me. He's like, no. Nope. Yeah, he's like, I can see you're just as stubborn as ever, Mr. Drake. And he holds out his wow. uh, hand for the, your uh, like credit card. Yep, she'll she'll hand over the credit card and she'll turn and say, I'll know if you've taken more than anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He swipes it and then hands the card back. Hands you your receipt, it slides over the box with a pup in it. Thank you. I'll be sure to come here more often. He just squints at you. And she'll head off to the gate. Okay. So everybody is currently aboard the Hyperion. Um, and let's see. I'm just scrolling down a bit. So, uh... I guess now is the time for a, you know, if you guys, you know, if our pilot wants to do a piloting role to get us going, like, both away from, well, undocking from Anchor Point is as simple as backing up, but, like, in terms of plotting a course to the station, uh, that would sure be... Thing. Would you like to uh, push? Yes, I would. 
<laughs> my god. Uh, <laughs> did you add in the plus two from the talent? Yeah, you do have, uh, mm -hmm. like the back of your hand, you get a plus two mod for flying the Hyperion. So if you want to, uh, what you can do is you can type slash R space uh, 2DB. Um, just to roll two base dice. Now, let's see, did you get any successes on that? Oh, you got two successes. Yep. Oh. Okay, there you go. Nice. So, you plot the course um, to Theseus Station in orbit over LV-141. Uh, are you going to do anything with that extra success? Because you can also, I think, save it for a future skill roll. I think I'm going to save it, because <laughs> that goes so great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, well, I don't know. You did pretty well on that one piloting roll. Um, yeah. To dock with the Thea. Um, okay, so just uh, make a note on your character sheet or on, like, a document or whatever that you have, you know, plus one boost to your next piloting roll. Okay. Okay, so you guys, you know, you have the course set, so now you proceed to, well, everybody son, sends uh, Hana, you know, goes to Cryo. The journey to uh, this planet would be, um, you know, like in this case, three to go from Anchor Point to Theseus Station. So you're going to be, the first stage of the journey is going to be just a three week trip. So three weeks in cryo. Is there anything anybody would like to do before you enter cryo? I think you could swig and then nod off. <laughs> okay, Bender. No, I'm gonna make sure everyone's fine, and then uh, make then put them into sleep. Uh, Drake will probably have an actual one-on-one -on -one conversation with um, Sierra before heading to Cryo. Oh, oh no! It's review time. Oh. And Jake, uh, Drake will be saying corporate sweet conversation. That's even worse. Dun dun dun. <laughs> All right, Sierra. Here's a pro tip: you, when you get in, you have to dominate the conversation. So say, hey, if you're taking me down, I'm taking all of you with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll film that aggressive. Anna looks unconfused. As, Is this supposed to be a sexual rendezvous? <laughs> Um, so yeah, and by the way, guys, we are, you know, on B-Deck, um, for anybody who wants to, like, actually see what's going on, but I can say, so, Sierra, you, do you go to, um, the corporate suite? Yeah, I'm just heading there. Alright, uh, yeah, you can move Sierra's token if you want, or I can. Alright, so Sierra enters the corporate suite, Drake is either sitting or standing, that's your choice. What's this about? Well, I just wanted to let you know that um, whilst Lebo is gone at the moment, we don't know when she's returning. Um, you're second in charge. Oh. So any mission stuff, I'll be coming straight to you. But anything that's corporate related, sorry to say, I take over. But I'm still in charge. I think there's already pay. <laughs> Shush, Rama, you're going to make me lose my character. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know some of the crew may not like my methods, and of course my last decision making wasn't the best, but look, I'm going to do what I can to hopefully be a, a positive influence on the crew of um, showing that uh, that I'm not incompetent. So hopefully I can rely on your confidence to back me up when necessary. Oh yes, I like you. Well, that's good. And you see her just having a big smile of approval. Good. <laughs> so, um... Otherwise, uh, make sure we set course to our next mission, and 
hopefully we'll have a good trip. I certainly hope so. That'd be great. Good. All right. I'll see you in cryo. All right, you then. I guess I leave. Mm-hmm. She's, yeah, she's waiting for you So, uh, anything anybody else does before uh, cryo? I mean, I know McCoy said he was going to get hammered again, but I was curious if uh, Madeline and had any business. McCoy or... drinks. That is like the universal constant. Yeah, yeah I was like, what does McCoy drink? In fact, drinks? it's used as a unit in time in some locations. Yeah, well, <laughs> before he goes to sleep, I'm going to just jab him with the hydration, uh, letting him know this will help you when you wake up. I bet you he protests. Yeah, no, you no, you sprinkle it in his drink pill, Cosby. No, no, no. <laughs> Say it's alcoholic. <laughs> no, no, it's just a jab. Uh, it's uh, one medical professional to a science professional. Huh? If if we find out that our friend McCoy is anti-vax, <laughs> <laughs> here, here's your booster. Uh, hit me. <clears throat> And here's the other booster, and here's the booster for your booster. Uh, yeah, uh, the big thing is, I'm not gonna like argue. I'll just be like, okay, uh, since you've been drinking that much, this is just to help when you wake up so you don't feel like a uh, sandpaper mouth. Yeah, cheers. Appreciate it. Cheers. All right, so uh, I guess with that, everybody goes to cry asleep. Except Hana. Yeah, well, except Hana, so of course. We'll just watch you as you sleep. Yeah, just just <laughs> stand there for... Stand perfectly still for three weeks just staring at everything. Right? Well, no. If you'll do a Keurig maintenance, then stare at the... Uh, they're making stare at the... unicorns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... So, uh, you eventually, you know, after three weeks of, like, blasting through stars faster than light, or star systems, not stars, uh, you eventually come into a system, you know, with a, with a star and then a, uh, you know, a planet. Like, a planet, it looks to be a gas giant, and then there's basically a pure white moon, you know, in, in orbit around it, and then there's a station near that. Um, you yeah, know, by this point, you've come out of... Cry asleep. This station, Theseus Station, is an absolute pipsqueak when compared to Anchor Point. And in case any of you have seen or been to Novgorod Station, you can guess that this one's just a little bit smaller than that. Uh, you have a, an incoming transmission, like beeping on the mm -hmm. uh, on the you know like command console. Obviously, Cryo starts opening up. Well, no, I was just kind of assuming that we just kind of gunned it through. Cryo just to oh, yeah. sake of time and you know. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, um, Drake will head to the bridge, obviously, since she's still in charge. Okay. So, so see you. This yeah. time Hana's prepared s'mores for everyone. See you, we'll grab a s'more. I got a plate of acid reflux for you. <laughs> <laughs> and Drake's just having a moment going. Oh, I just envisioned LaRoe just being right beside me while I take care of these calls. Mm. All right, better go ahead and answer this one, and she'll she'll uh, press the button to answer the call. And then you hear Theseus Station to USCS Hyperion. You're clear to dock at Airlock A2. Our cargo and personnel are awaiting transfer. Out. That was quick. Didn't have to say a word. Okay. So, uh, you have a, you know. If Sierra wants to fly the ship to dock it with this station because it's it's a smaller station and it's a different sort of configuration than anchor point. So, all right. Uh, don't forget your plus one boost. Oh well, you succeed. Oh. So, um, oh well. <laughs> so, uh, well, did you did you put the boost in? No, I didn't put the boost. Oh, okay. Did you? I, I don't remember if your talent because you have the one that gives you a plus two for flying the Hyperion. Um. I don't know if that yeah, You might need or... to just... No, it doesn't. The talents right. don't factor out. You have to do that manually. God damn so it. maybe just add the extra two in whenever you're yeah. doing piloting for the ship. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. And then and yeah, and then to do that, by the way, all you do is um, instead of just clicking the skill, you uh, you right click on it, and then you can add a modifier. Okay. So, um, so yeah, but you bring in the you bring the Hyperion in for you know graceful landing as per always. Uh, the uh, as before, you well, it's oh, it's up to you. Do you want to dock with uh, at A deck or at C deck? Because there's C deck has an airlock like at the front of the ship, like with an umbilical, and then A deck basically connects like directly to it. A deck then. Okay. So you dock at A deck, which is you know the same deck with like the mother core and the air, like the cryo and all that stuff. So um, on A deck. Um, I don't know who would want to go, like, to, directly to the, to the junction. Um, uh, Drake will. Okay, well, yeah, I kind of figured that Drake would. Um, so, you know, up here at Junction A1. So, uh, you know, the airlock, uh, well, do you, do you go out of the ship, or do you wait for people to come in? Um, wait for the people to come in. Okay. It so, seemed to be yeah. that they were trying to rush them out, so I thought we're not going to set foot on the station. So, yeah. uh, you know, after you dock with the station, uh, three people come through the airlock. Uh, there's a scrawny pale guy with a glass with glasses and a clipboard, an older man, like an older looking man with lengthy comb back hair and a long gray beard, and a rather youthful raven haired Eurasian woman. The, be the spectacled guy's name reads Hartley. The old guy's name says Clemens, and the woman's is Parker. Next to them is a dolly supporting some large sealed crates with steam calmly streaming down from the lids. And then the guy, Hartley, says, All right, Hyperion crew, I need you to sign here that indicate that you got the cargo. And then he uh, holds out a clipboard, but he's like, he's not even making eye contact with anybody. He's just kind of like holding the clipboard to the first somebody, first person who would actually sign it. Because he doesn't really necessarily know who's. I just walks up and signs because she was ordered to. <laughs> what she was? He said, "Just anyone, right?" Well, he was saying he's just like he was holding it out to basically is like in the sort of way saying, "I don't care who's signing, just sign it." Like because he's just kind of. Uh, Drake is gonna intercept and just go. Uh, it, it's kind of proper madness to be looking at someone. And he's like, "All right, yeah, 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 yeah. This is Dr. Paul Clemens and his assistant Natalie Parker. They're to they're, they're to handle the cargo in the science lab and prepare for his departure. You're supposed you're to prepare your ship for departure and do the whole and he's sort of waving his hand the whole interstellar travel thing for him. I'll be sending a report back to the company informing them that the cargo has been transferred. All right, now run along with knowledge. Not getting paid a lollygag. Oh, you're a charmer, and she'll grab the pen. She'll just turn around and sign off on it." Guess you get a nice promotion every time when you do something nice. And uh, the older guy, uh, Clemens, like, oh, don't mind him. He's all, he's he's never in a good mood. Doctor Paul Clemens, you are. Drake, company nice. agent. But you can call me Uma if you like. But Drake is preferable. Nice to meet you, Drake. This is my assistant, Natalie Parker. And then Natalie s smiles and just sort of lightly waves. Um. Well, and Clement Parker, this is our medic, Lacrox, Madeline. Sorry, Delacrox. Delacrox. Delacroix. I forgot the Del. Delacroix. I'm screwing up even bad, so Rama just shoot me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Not really. <laughs> Pulls an electrostatic pistol on and Drake. <laughs> Stun mode. <laughs> Spend the time. Um, if this is Rogue Trader, you have one person in charge of just hitting the person with the stun baton the whole time. Like, why does this position exist within the company? I have no idea. <laughs> nice. Um, so, uh, anyway, you were introducing the others? Yeah. Um, if, are the others in the, um, the uh, junction? That's up to them. I, I know that Hana and... Uh, uh, Delacroix, or no, De I see Delacroix and uh, Drake at the junction. Hana, so you said you were with as well. Has, uh, IMAX sunglasses. So if I get shot with a laser and I get a success, I don't yeah. get hurt. 
I think Hannah did, was indicating that uh, she was there, so... Yeah, okay, so that's um, And three. this is Hannah. Hello. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm Hannah of need too. And... So... And what? Go ahead. Oh, I was about to turn and say, if you want to put your stuff into um, uh, quarters down on B-deck, you will be able to have your stuff there for at the journey where we're going. Very well. And then he gestures for uh, for Natalie to start pushing the dolly. Um, and he said, and then uh, Clemens turns to you, Natalie and I can handle the specimens for here, or the, uh, the cargo, I should say. With no intent to give you orders, maybe you should think about getting prepared for our departure? Of course. We'll definitely take care of that. But do you mind if I ask what these specimens are for? Uh, we haven't had uh, time to... Uh, conduct proper tests we didn't have the materials for it they uh when we found them in the cave they were you know about any dust with the hands about this tall very uh couldn't necessarily tell because of all the ice but they had a leathery uh sort of feel to them wow uh are these uh, specimens viewable by any chance or seeable from within the room uh the cr well they're in sealed like they're in crates um, like, not, okay. not transparent, they're just, like, solid sort of metal containers. Do you have an image of what these leathery things you're talking about? Uh, not on me, I'm afraid. But once we get to the, uh, to the science lab, we'll be able to do some proper tests. Of course. Of course. Um, so... have they passed quarantine requirements? They have. They, when we found them... Uh, they were inert, and we did not detect any um, anything that would be cause for concern. Well, maybe on there might be on something on this ship that we can utilize for you to go and do further research on, if you like. Perhaps. Uh, I guess we will uh, we will attend to business. Mm. And so he, uh, you know, if Drake or uh, De Delacroix or. Uh, Hana don't say anything, then he and uh, Natalie will just get going. Um, Drake will probably turn around and look at Delacroix and go, given the look of, I don't like this. Yeah, um, she'll just shrug. Uh, welcome to working for a company. Hana, uh, escort our, desk, our guest to B deck. I see. Please, come this way. Um, okay, so Hana goes with uh, the... Uh, uh, the yeah, guests, what, yeah. Yeah, the guests. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out the word. Um, would anybody else, uh, like any of the PCs, go? Yeah, I'm curious. Okay, so Madeline yeah, sure. tags along. Wait, what? Did you, was that McCoy? Yeah. Okay, so McCoy, McCoy just... Madeline, uh, Hana, and then also for you know because it's you know her job for security reasons, Cat tags along, um, and um, you know Natalie leads the way. She's pulling the uh, the dolly along, and when it gets to about here, I'd say uh, I just need to. Move some tokens just for representative reasons. Um, I'll stay on the bridge by myself. <laughs> Where it's safe. Um, yeah. Don't wanna be. So, uh, there's that, and then where the hell's cat? Um, so here she is. Um, the uh, the resident butt monkey of the crew, given how much damage she takes. Um. So Natalie leads the way, but as the dolly approaches the doorway, it winds up sort of riding the curves of the corridor, going off track and bumping into the doorframe. The firm vibration combined with the angle of the dolly knocks the crates over onto the ground. The lids fly off and steam pours out. And out of the crates slide four round brown objects with the slightest tint of green in their coloration. You can you hear Natalie whimper horrified, oh my god, as the top of the objects opens up. Everybody takes a stress as this happens, except Hana, of course. Do I take one too? <laughs> no, you're not. You know, you're not in the scene. It's basically everybody. Oh. I should say everybody who's here, like in this little area. Yeah. 
Um, so that would be amazing. I heard or something. Uh, wait, so McCoy's in two places? Uh, no, I just I forgot to move. It's his McCoy... ninja technique. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, his old token's there. I forgot to move it. Uh, McCoy said he was going to tag along with Madeline and Hana to help the, the guests move the crates. And because, mm -hmm. you know, for security reasons, uh, Kat, you know, who of course is one of the two security officers, she tags along as well. Um, okay. So, from out of the objects emerge four sand-colored creatures that re represent skeletal spiders with long tails, and I have tokens for them. And by this point, I'm pretty sure y'all know exactly what these fucking things are. What the fuck, why yes. Can, why can't I drag all these tokens? Now I can. Slide them over here, and... Surprise, motherfucker. Um, so, uh, out of the um, objects, so we're going to now roll initiative. Fun times. Um, so, uh, I will activate the combat state. And then... I have to step out for a moment. Did I miss anything? Uh, yeah, you're about to be yeah. attacking facehuggers. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, these guys basically have I stepped out for one second to help with laundry, and suddenly I'm getting <laughs> fucked by a hugger. Oh, by the way, face huggers. This <laughs> guy, you know. All right. Uh, oh, where's Hunter? Where's Hunter in this? Because I can't see Hunter. Hunter, well, I'm sorry, it's like, oh, we don't need you, Hunter. Everything's fine. Hunter, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You all go before them. Okay, yeah. This is. Uh, or no, wait, hold on, I hit roll to NPCs, I gotta roll all. Uh, okay. Alright, so, yeah, Cat and then Hana. So, before I hit begin combat, if anybody wants to, well, actually, I can hit begin combat, and then you guys can switch turn orders as you want. Yes, and... I'd like to go first. Okay, so, Madeline will go first. Do you want to switch with Cat or with Hana? Uh, Cat. Alright. So, I think Cat was, like, here... Like just a step above McCoy. Um, it's kind of hard when the face huggers have movement too. Uh, okay, so Madeline. So uh, anybody else want to make any changes? Did I roll yet? I'm sorry. Uh, no, no. I the GM rolls in this case. Oh, okay. Um, good. Like I basically. I don't feel bad. I'll stay on the bridge. <laughs> you all keep in mind. Other people can join the combat. Um, like as it's going. <laughs> do you on. want to though? Yeah, I do. I want to for them to join in. So yeah. Yeah. Wait, I plan to once I hear about it. Okay, so then I'll add you like during the like I guess like the second round or whatever. Okay, so yeah. we're if there are no other uh, turn order changes, we're gonna start with Madeline. So currently, four fucking like spider things have just co come out of what the out of the crates, and are starting to kind of get oriented to like they're facing you and they have kind of an uneasy quality about them. Mm -hmm. And we're right by Medical, where the kid is at. Uh, I'm going to look at McCoy. Uh, do you have any compulsions to being shoved? Away. What? Shoved away. Yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to being shoved away from... All right, I'm fucking... putting you in a medical and locking the door. Okay. <laughs> no, no, it's like... Smack him, and then he goes flying over the face hoggers into the fucking middle. <laughs> okay, so is that what your action is to like push him into the med lab? Yes, it's like ah oh, shit. Uh, because McCoy and I fast. actually are a bit chummy, and also it's like uh, like Kid is also in there, and I'm like, yeah, no, uh, get him safe and all. So uh, yeah, so medical is locked, so that's good. Okay. Uh, well, you, Solomon, was it a fast, a I think, shutting... Fast action is a shove. Okay, fast action is yeah. a shove, and then a slow action, you said, was to close the door? Yep, lock it. Okay. Alright, so you shut the door, um, and that is your turn. It's Hana time. Hana? Well, actually, I can exchange with anyone if they want. Well, you have to announce that at the start like, round. Um, Like, you can only change initiatives at the start of each round. Uh. Let's 
Let's see, in which case then go for the one, that one. This one? Yeah. Okay. With cutting torch. Nope. And that's it. I'm going to hold my fast action. Okay. Save an action to block. All right. So uh, next would actually be the guy who you tried to attack. Um, and normally it would ignore androids, but given that one just tried to like kill it with a cutting torch, it's going to attack. So I got to roll its signature attack. Uh... Okay, hold on, what is the effect of... Oh, wait, no, hold on. Uh, I think that is for the effect of drowning. There are, there are special rules that the that Dave, you know, uh, the effect Dave came up with for... Um, okay, well, I guess... No, apparently you just suffer the effects of drowning, whatever the hell that is. Um, yeah, androids can't drown. Oh, okay, well, it's basically then fucking, like, just wrapped around your neck. Not really doing oh, man. So, uh, that's pretty oh. much all it does. That's all around his face. <laughs> well, it's it's like it's wrapping its tail, or like she's basically wearing it like a tie. Oh. Like it's just it's got its tail. Yeah, at that, at, it's at that point, it. at that point, it it does the whole wrap around the tail. Hana looks at it confused, and then just like grabs, holds it back. Yeah, I can't mind you can uh, you can roll up. to you can roll to block the attack. Oh no, I, I'm not bothering. If it's just going to try choking me out, and I'm just going to not bother. <laughs> well, hold on. I want to see what, because uh, drowning might actually like. There's an effect to drowning, like in terms of taking damage. Uh, no, that, no look, it's, oh, yeah. you make a panic roll. It's just that's the descriptive text for it. What? Remember, the android thing says they're immune to the effects of drowning. So yeah. okay, so mm -hmm. basically, it doesn't really do anything to you. Um, so that would be its turn next. Which one is this one? Uh, up, up above it. I'm gonna go for cat. Uh, Does and, stamina still apply? Uh, stamina? No, it's close combat that blocked. The problem is that because she didn't go, uh, she wasn't able to save an action to block. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I think you can do a. Um, no, I didn't do an a I didn't do an action at all. That's what's my whole point with it. I don't do anything. Oh, it's just good to so choke. Don't, I don't okay. do anything. Okay. Mm. So roll. Um. Okay. So hold on. Did I think the dice? Yeah. So it like whips at her. Uh, does two damage, and I think she has armor. Uh, um, I will. Bodyguard. Okay. Uh, that succeeds. Okay, so you block one of the damage. Um, no, that's for take. That's for taking it for them. Oh, taking all the damage. Okay, then you take two damage. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh shit! All right. So you're down two HP, uh, and it you know fails to hit Cat. So that's its turn. The next one. Is going to go through the vent with a fast action, and now um, I'll say evens as it goes for Matthew, tails or odds is that it goes for uh, McCoy. Odds, so it's going for McCoy. Great. So yeah. <laughs> uh, Fuck. Hold on. Would that wouldn't the door between uh, Medlab McCoy's and Medpod be closed? Glass. Anyway? I mean, it can go for him, but. Well, the, no, here's the thing. It look. ran through the vent. Yeah. It ran through the vent There's and got There's two doors him. in there. Yeah, but, you know, it was never specified that the door was closed. Oh, true. And, like, well, I it closed, but it wasn't people. locked. Like, oh, right. You know, there's any number of yeah, snares. And even, even if it ran through this airlock, it would still have enough movement to get through here, so. True. Uh, so, either way, it's it's going for him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh-oh. Oh man! Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh fuck! Indeed! 
Uh, opposed roll. Okay, so it got two successes. So you can roll... You can decide whether or not if you want it to do that one anyway. Oh, if you wanted right. To. Okay, then I'll roll again. Because I don't want to just instantly kill him. Uh, Skitter... <laughs> no, you, you can have it go. Because, like, if it can get to him, so can I. Uh, oh, God, now I'm... Well, no, I'm, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll spare him this time. Uh, so... Hooray. It basically... <laughs> Uh, you suffer, oh. you get one stress, and you make a panic roll. I can do that. Is that better than it going for your face? <laughs> uh, stress up. Yeah. There you go. So it just makes a little squeal, and uh, that's basically it. Okay, as for Kat, um, so she, what does she have for a weapon anyway? Um, she has, wow, a shotgun and a pistol. So she's going to, uh, you know, with her shotgun drawn, fire at it. Uh, fire, I think this was the one that tried to attack, or no, 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 it was this one. Um, so basically whipped at Hana, and she, like, grimaces and pumps her shotgun it's going to aim for a plus two. Um, or, I don't know, she's going to block. Um, she fires. And hits it. And now it has to roll its, now it rolls its armor double. Uh, so, armor... Oh, oops, hold on, wait. Uh, you have to right click and then do armor double. It blocks two It damage. still takes three damage. Uh, no, it wouldn't, because, so, she did four damage to it. Okay, uh, sorry, it still takes two. Yeah, so, it blocks two of it, but, now, hold on, the acid splash does, uh, and, hold on, wait, draws blood, causes an acid splash, so, I guess Um, she... by the way, Cody, I'll have to go in a few minutes, okay. so, All right. that's my, uh... Okay. So, yep. uh, roll acid splash, I guess. The damage inflicted on... Oh, that's cool. There's a damage inflicted on it. So, it took two damage roll, and it, you know, doesn't splash on anybody or cause any damage. Whew. So, that was Cat's turn. She's still saving an action to block. Next up to bat is the original face hugger. Uh, who was going to go for Cat. Um, and, uh, where is, okay, roll attack. All right, and it does how much damage to her? Two. So, but she does have armor. And, oh, and she can block. Uh, so let me just roll her block. Yeah, see, if, if she gets hit, I'm going to bodyguard. Well, I thought, I thought you have to have an action to bodyguard. No. Oh. You just have to make ability roll. Okay. So she, but she does have armor though, so, or no, if you want a bodyguard, then go for it. Yeah. All right, so you succeed, so let's see, all right, you block one, two, okay, you completely soak up the damage. Um, so, the facehugger, like, squee like, squeals at you in spite. McCoy. It is your turn. Uh, Blocks you there. Blocks? Uh oh. Shit. What are you um, doing? Good question. Um, I guess. We'll say he like saves his action, so he can still act. Uh, oh, I mean, unless he comes back, uh, I don't know. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll say McCoy does that. Uh, so this face hugger, this one up here, uh, completely ignores uh, Madeline and just runs into the vents. It goes. Come on. <laughs> 
and then this one down here it's its turn so to avoid uh insta killing like potentially insta killing uh, uh mccoy while he's not there uh so it's it failed to get uh mccoy and then turns its eye on what it thinks is easier prey um so let me just open its sheet and roll scattering all right matthew uh plus one stress make a panic roll and he keeps together okay um so then this one is going to once again ignore delacroix and flee into the vents and it does an unspecified action oh wait is that a uh, i just need to check something on c deck I don't know if that's connected or not. I think it is, so. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll just I'll deal with it later. Um, okay, so that is its turn. Okay, round two. Uh, now, Hana, if you want to switch with anybody, you can. I think by now I would have heard the shotgun sound. Yeah, you heard a shotgun blast uh, you know, echo mm -hmm. through the ship. I think she would have gone from A deck down to B deck by this point. Yeah, being lo locked into the system, Hana's going to, you know, send out an you know, emergency to the computer system. Uh, What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not much, not much. We're being attacked by alien spiders. But they're just chicken rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, do you want me to roll into this one, or yeah, I will add you up? to the initiative. Uh, you were, uh, where would you have gone to your corporate suite, or were you still just hanging out at the? Junction? No, no, no. If no, I was still up at uh, a deck at that time. <laughs> okay, so you're still at a deck. So I will do, um, toggle combat state, and then uh, hold on. Can I? How do I roll for uh, re-roll initiative? Okay, you are after McCoy, but. Because we're at the okay. start of the round, you can switch with somebody if you want. Yep. Um. Yeah, no, I'll be fine there. I won't change anything. Okay. So, does anybody else want to change, or are you good with the order? I'm good with the order. Okay. So, I guess we'll... Okay, uh, it's Madeline's turn. Well, when I see that thing go into there, I'm like, oh, fuck. Uh, I'm going to go rush in and uh, try and stop that thing. So you're going to have to first use a slow action to open the door, because you did shut and lock it, and then fast action. To I'm run. going through the vent, so oh, you're crawling through the that's going to just move into the zone to get to where it is. All right. I would also say by this point that due to it is running, it's kind of, it's... In the room, well, it's still in the same zone, but I'm just moving a little bit, so because it, you know, it ran into the room to threaten these two people. So, all right, so I think that would that be your turn? Depends. Does it take a, a fast action to get in there? Yeah, I would say due to the cramped confines of it, and then having to move out of the one sector into another. So that would be. You know, due to due to the intense mobility there to get into it, that would be, um, you know, two fast actions I would say. So, is that okay? Uh, Hana. Yeah, that's your turn. The, I will, you know, cutting torch the one next to me. Okay. Heck. Also, I forgot to ask, uh, Sierra, would you have joined the initiative as well, or would you just stay on the bridge? Uh, yeah, I saw um, uh, Uma leaving. Uh, I'm back again, but I'm going to have to leave. Uh, oh, okay. I'll okay. give you it, some explanation in chat, Cody. But... Sure. It gets hit All for right. three at, at half armor. Right. Have fun, everyone. All right. Thanks, Cody. You're welcome. All right. All right. I will also add uh, Sierra to the combat tracker real quick. Um, toggle combat state. Reroll initiative. Okay. Uh, and we'll just stick with the current turn order. Okay. So uh, the 
you did three damage to it, half armor, so let me just roll its uh, armor, armor piercing. Wow. But it has two health. So you did exactly enough to kill it. Um, however, though... Flash damage. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, so... it's it's fire. The... All right. So... I mean, it doesn't have the fire quality. It yeah, says. that's true. So it's more like a precision burn than, uh, than anything else. Acid splash. Okay, so you did two damage to it. So let's roll acid splash two... Uh, well, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> so damn, last time is not doing good. Yeah. So, but this one is Fubar. So let me just uh, do uh, dead. All right. So it is dead. Um, so that it would have gone next, but it doesn't. So this one, uh, one of the ones that uh, went off, will continue to do things. And then uh, this one in the med lab will make an attack, and it will go after Matthew. Um, so let's see what it does for an attack. Tail lash. Uh, how much damage does it do? Nothing. This is. Yep. It They're in short range, correct? Uh, they are behind a locked door, so you cannot I magically teleport. Them. Opened it. Uh. Well, no, she didn't open the door. She went through the vent. Okay. But she basically ran down the hallway, entered the vent, and was crawling through it. Mm. So, um, there's that. Um, Cat is going to um, go... That's a good question. What does Cat do? Um, just that for a sec. She will open the door. Uh, as a slow action and then save a fast action to block. And then this guy is dead. McCoy will say he's you know he's just out of the action. Okay, Drake. So you are currently on A deck, so to get to like I would say to get down the ladder is one action. And then you could probably make it like about like right here by the corporate suite with another mm -hmm. fast action. So basically, in yeah. another round, you'll be like in the thick of things. Yep. Um. Just that's a that's an actual int uh, uh, intercom there, so that's not possible. Um, what do you mean? Hey, what are you trying to? I do? was going to go ahead and do. My brain was going to go ahead and actually try to access the terminal to do a ship lockdown. But I'm nowhere near an actual terminal. The uh, nearest one is in the middle. Yeah, there's, there's a terminal there. So, I mean, mm. you could alternatively run... Instead of going down the hallway, you could go to a terminal. Or actually, you know, the bridge is right there. And that's you know, basically yeah. the control station of the of the ship. Yeah. Um, I think that's... Because, because what she's hearing, she's just going to lock down the ship. Because she doesn't know what the hell's going on. So that's where she's heading. Okay. So... <laughs> You go there as a, uh, and wait, Sierra was on the bridge, right? Yeah, I was. All right, so I'll um, move you because I know you're just at the junction. So Sierra's on the bridge. Uh, Uma uses fast action, one fast action to get down the ladder, and then uses another fast action to get to the bridge. Um, so then this next uh, facehugger will do nothing. Evil smirk. Uh, Sierra, it is now your turn. Oh, no. So you currently so got, you heard a shotgun blast, and then a couple of seconds later, you see your boss like like go charging into the room. What's going on? I don't know, and I don't like it. Shut down, lock down the ship. Okay, I, I guess I help her lock down the ship. <laughs> okay, so that would be a comtech roll to you know. Like just locked, like in in the terms of how far you're going, like you know you need to, like I would just say you know for the sake of it, like it would just be a Comtech roll, and the Seekson device would apply here. Good thing you bought it, oh, so yeah. that would give you a plus two. Uh, and Make then sure it's in your active slot. 
yeah. Uh, and so, in terms of the lockdown, I would say now there are different kinds of lockdowns. Like you can lock that, like you can lock the airlock, you can lock the doors, you know, you can lock vents, uh, you can like do all sorts of locks. Like how how far are you going with locking down the ship? Um, Full lockdown. Okay, so you're I'm locking thinking. literally everything. Full lockdown. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do my move action to move in. Uh, the, uh, didn't you already act? I can't. I haven't used my other one. I'm and I had already gone, so that's basically saved action. Okay. I lose if I don't use it by the end. By oh, the end okay. The... Well, uh, good thing Cat opened the door. All right. So, uh, did you make the contact roll? Oh yeah. So so to make it active, what you do is for an item, if you look on um, the character sheet, so when you see the item, there's a little picture to the left of it. Um, in oh. the inactive section, you click on that picture, you left click on it, and then that makes it active. Okay. And then once it's active, it should automatically uh, calculate the bonus. All right. All right, you succeed. Uh, you also can do stunts if you want. Let me just double check what those stunts are. Uh, skill. If you want to know under a skill, you just right click. Oh yeah, true. Thing on um, you can uh, gain a plus one mod to a later skill roll. You don't need a roll to lock down the ship in the future. You do it in half the time it would normally take. Those are the three that would probably be most applicable. <laughs> I guess I cut the time in half. Okay, you cut the time in half, so it basically happens, like, instantly. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, the doors aren't just, like, slowly shutting, they just <laughs> shut. Um, and that's one success, and then what's the other one? Um, I guess I'll save it for another time I need to use. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can save that to give yourself a plus one mod related to this. Um... So that would be your, I think, slow action. Do you want to use a fast action to do anything else to, like, move? Or, well, you probably can't move because you just locked down the fucking ship. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you have a fast action. Let me just check the actions. Um, what are some options if you want? Um, actions and initiative. Okay, so for fast actions, uh, there's not really much you can do, um, honestly. I guess I'll just say, okay, doors are locked, Captain. Good. Let's make contact with the, the rest of the crew and find out what the hell's going on. Yeah, I mean, I would, now I will say that, you know, and especially because it's on your turn, as an, you know, as an incidental, which, you know, would basically be like, it doesn't cost an action. You are at the bridge, so you could, like, radio in with, like, what the hell's going on down there? <laughs> I can't really do it because it's not my turn. Well, that's what I'm saying. Sierra can do it because it's still yeah, Sierra's turn. Right. A science lab report. <laughs> um, does anybody say anything? We need to get to the intercom to say that. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, well, Med Labs <laughs> got one. It's hooked into the machine, so if those response, you yeah. could give it in. Yeah, that's a, uh, that is an intercom. Yeah. You, you'll get a quick little thing of text. It'll pop on the screen and explain the situation. Hey, what? <laughs> Specimens escaped. Quarantine issue. Tactical texting during the middle of a skirmish. I love it. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Tactical, what? So this guy is going to uh, make a roll. Oh, oh, shoot. All right. It's going for Matthew. Um, so let me. Oh, no. Okay. It's mobility, and it got. Um, how many opposed roll? Okay, I got one. If the victim wins, so Ty goes to the vendor, uh, <clears throat> they throw the beast to the floor, but it's not finished with them yet, and attacks the same target again on its next initiative. Yeah, uh, I will. 
fail. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have dodge. That's why I rolled mobility. Oh. Okay, well, you succeeded. It is good. Oh, okay. All right, so... Oh, I forgot to cycle the turn order. Okay, so there's that. And then this guy is... Uh, skipping. He's doing a few things. Um, and it was his turn as well. Okay, round three. Um... Madeline, so the current situation is... Now, did you get out of the vent? I assume so, because I used two fast actions to move Yeah, okay, it. yeah, you're out of the vent. So basically, though, uh, the thing is, is that there... Uh, this is so fucking cramped. There are doors here and here and vents, and... Now, did you move into the room, or did you just get into the corridor? Uh, I'm trying to get to the kid, so yeah. Okay, so... So I'm locked in here with this thing. All right, you're in the room, so it's basically... Well, you're not locked in the room because Cat opened the door. Or actually, no, you no, are. It's locked in with you. <laughs> yeah, so basically the door is sealed and it's currently McCoy. Or no, Hana's in there, right? Yeah. All right, so. Uh, yeah, so Madeline, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to have to, like, grab it all of that. Uh, make sure I can keep it between it, myself and it. Uh, all of that fun stuff. So let's see. Uh, ah, All right, Hana. Yeah, uh, Hana will. Well, I, mean, I should say, I should say, uh, is there anything else, Madeline, that you want to do on your turn? I'll, uh, let's see here. Um, no. Oh, wait, I can do a shove. So I'm going to push it away. Okay. And that's going um, to be another close combat. Yep. So, where are you pushing it to? Because basically the room has, like, four people. Uh, I think we're going to do the uh, Hicks and Vasquez thing, where I'm just telling Hana, uh, where? And then uh, Hana responds there, and then I'll just uh, <laughs> Ready? Over yeah! There, there yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, so, uh, you're pushing it uh, over to Hana, or where? To Hana. So okay. Hannah doesn't have to like use more actions to just okay. get to it. All right. Um. So. Um. Uh, the let's see. So next. All right. So next is Hannah. So you can attack it if you so choose. Yeah. Oh my That's god. I'll use one of those stunts to safely push it away. Why are you pushing? It? Oh, the acid. Well, the problem is, is that in the in the compound, the, the, the problem is that the the acid is going to spray, uh, and it's probably going to if and it hits hit everyone. Yeah, exactly, because it's like a tiny little room, and uh, everybody's in there. So, um, and technically, I think Splash is short range anyway. So basically, everyone in that room, including Cat, are going to get hurt. Well, Cat uh, is not in the room. Okay, then um, question: Can I use one of the stunts? Basically, since it's got in the corner that. She basically stabs it, but co also covers it um, with her body. Yeah, so it just hits her. Uh, you could use. Uh, I'll make it to where you know you can roll bodyguard if you want to try to do that. Okay. All right. Catch up with acid. All right. Yeah. Just. Uh. Yeah. Roll its armor. I mean, it's gonna die, but. Yeah. Uh. So it's armor piercing. So it takes the full damage. So that would be five damage. Um, and then I will roll its its acid. So it took five fucking damage. And wow! Holy holy what damn it! The fuck? Well, yes, I did. After all, <laughs> this is ridiculous. That would have been so great if it just fucking splash dash. That would be funny. Okay, well, it's dead. Um, and... Are you alright? Uh, where's the uh, the dead symbol? There it is. Alright, so, Facehugger is dead. Um, so, let's see. That one's dead. Uh, the next one is still MIA. Yes. Uh, Hana four, will right? call into the con system. Four biological contaminants released. Two have been neutralized. Two are still unaccounted for. Escaped into the ventilation system. What? <laughs> 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 that was 
that reaction was great. Uh, okay. I'm literally envisioning uh, right now the whole idea of what the shit from Joker and, and Mass Effect when I heard Sierra say that. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> oh man. Um, so yeah, the um, that face hugger is not going. So technically, we could uh, actually no, we couldn't necessarily end combat because yeah, you know, I don't know if people have anything else they want to do. Um, like we have two people um, on the bridge. We're gonna hunt down the other two in the vents. The, the vents are the locked. Vents are locked. So Everything's locked down. They? It's a full lockdown. Yeah. Is every door locked down um, or is it just like every door. That's what a full every lockdown door, is. Every, every every door, every vent, everything has been locked down. All day. <laughs> yeah. Um so obviously uh, Drake would have heard overheard this and going and saying for biological you you're talking about those crates, right? Yes, Butterfingers, that those two are not around at all, dropped it if these things came out. Fuck. All right. Alright, uh, so where did the, you said you killed two, two in the vents, you said? Two escaped into the ventilation system, at which point lost track of them. I was defending the crew at the moment, so I was not able to pursue, unfortunately. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and take the lockdown off, but only leave the vents on lockdown so we can go ahead and actually explore the ship and find them. Security crew. We need the security crew on, on deck. What are we looking for? I guess we'll get the quick rundown of it. My arachnid base creature with Apparent crab legs. Looking for space spiders? Uh, Great. Yeah, at that point, Hana will just pick up the dead one, one of the dead ones, because she, you know, basically, like, you know, stabbed it in the head perfectly and walked down and just, like, you know. Hold it <laughs> out into the uh, viewport for you to see. Okay. Uh, that's Thank Kat. You. Uh, like... Romero's in the bridge. Yeah. And speaking of Cat, so hold on. You opened the door, right? Or you you lifted the lockdown on the doors? Yep. Do I need to do yeah. a roll for that, or is that fine? Uh, no, I would say that, Sierra, if you know you locked down the ship, then you, know, you could unlock it. Okay. Just the only thing that needs to be staying in lockdown would be the vents. Yeah. Quarantine, guys. Two weeks. Don't worry. Yeah. So the doors open up, Did... and Cat comes in, and she's like, uh, "Hey, I lost track of uh, of of those two people that came on board. I don't I don't know where they went." Get in contact with Mother, and get that going. Odds are, Mother's going to be able to locate them. We need to find them. Uh, I, with with all respect, ma'am, uh, I don't, I wouldn't have access to Mother. Only only uh, Agent Drake or the Thank XO you. would. Escalate but, it for fuck's sake. Uh, Drake's gonna pipe up mother. through the. Uh, Drake's gonna pop through and go ahead and say, "Cat, get you and Kowalski to search the ship while I consult with Mother." Ten four, and then she uh, starts. Uh, radioing Kowalski, who was in a different part of the ship because he didn't know what the hell was... Like, he wasn't alerted to what was going on, so Kowalski's going to join the search. Um, so, the doors are now unlocked. Uh, what does everybody do? Uh, I am going to talk about... The pad, huh? like, okay, good. Uh, we need to get a room that's secured. Make sure nothing can get in or out unless we authorize it, and then we'll get McCoy and Matthew in there. For safety. I is uh, going to go to Miss Drake because right now this is a very dangerous scenario and she needs to be protected. Well, Drake's already heading up to A deck to go straight to Mother. Yep. So Hana will proceed to meet you there. Mm hmm Like going up here? Like to the B one and the mother and all that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Where so, is the immediate shortest path? Yeah, so that would basically the... be up this corridor on the left, 
to get to Juncture B1. As you get here, though, uh, you see Kat standing absolutely catatonic, as well as Clemens, the guy from before, because you see Natalie's body on the ground, and guess what's on her face? Oh, <laughs> great. Quarantine procedures. Uh, Quarantine procedures. Yeah. Hana, we're then... going to carry over to med lab. Yeah, Hana then picks up Dr. Delacrox. The creature yes, has attached second. itself to one of the crew members. Fuck. Um, where's the fourth one? Unknown at the moment. Yeah. Well... Yeah. And then let's see here. I'll probably start like pushing on Clemens, being like, "What the fuck is this?" If, if I knew, I would tell you. But I, all I know is that we saw those things coming out, and we just we ran. We were running. We you ran. ran to the. Okay. Okay. Yes. More importantly, what the fuck was that sort of security system? Tips over, and that happens. I, I I didn't box them up. All I was tasked with was just seeing what they were, but we couldn't do that from Theseus Station. Uh -huh. Now we know what they are, and uh, I'm gonna go take a pulse. All of this. Uh, she's still alive. Yes, she is still alive. You can also kind of get the impression that the creature on her face is still alive because you can see it sort of puffing in and out, kind of like breathing. I need to go over to the med pods. Um, yeah, I'll take the uh, person over to the med pods, all of that, um, and try to figure out what's going on. And let's see what's happening with the mother unit. Yeah, good question. So yeah. we focus, we go up to ADEC. Drake is at the mother core, um, yep. I believe. So I would say that, you know, as the ranking company agent on the ship, you would just be able to go and just talk to mother. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think the, the choice of words that uh, Drake will be doing is... Uh, Pretty much, she'll use company protocol, uh, company language, but in the words of, "What the fuck are we carrying? What the hell is it?" And uh, would Drake been made aware of the person who's got face hugged by now, or not uh, communicated that? I would radio you, Drake, letting you know. Um, I need to check out and see what the hell's going on, and then uh, advise for an immediate freeze in med pods. Okay. Um, then, and Drake will turn and say, one crew member member's been incapacitated by creatures. Please respond. Um, or please advise. So, the, you basically get the, you know, equivalent of like a 404 error, because this is something that Mother... <sighs> would not necessarily be prepared to deal with like this these are unidentified creatures and what they're doing as described and because your mother would you know would have like seen this on the cameras uh you know be able to like check the cameras you know as you mentioned this stuff and it's like it's basically going you know like unidentified biological contaminant you know sort of like trying to find, I'm, I'm just out of character i'm just trying to find the words but it's basically Describes like they she got face hugged, but does not know what like what it's doing, what it is, and that's so so on. So, okay. but she does recommend and, an autopsy. Joys, um, is there any way I can go ahead and get how far away are we from Thessia Station? Uh, that depends on if uh Sierra, because uh, I forgot I forgot to bring this up. If Sierra brought the ship away. Like after Clemens and Natalie came on board. So that's. Oh, we're just checking the cargo, right? 
Yeah, so you brought the you brought the cargo on board. The question yeah. is is did you take the ship off after the cargo came on board or is it still docked? Uh, we were taking the security people with us, we right? We were taking off. That was yeah. Okay, so you so yeah. okay, you took off after you brought the so you're currently away from Theseus station. Yeah. Okay, so how uh, how far uh, are we able to make some sort of contact with Cessia Station to its mainframe? Uh, given the distance, I would say you could try to make, like, for the se sake of connecting to it, given the distance, make a contact roll. Sure. See if you're able to, you know, make establish a link with it. Yeah. Well, Drake's gonna go ahead and pull out her six and diagnostic device, and she's gonna turn and say. Don't care what bloody Bragg has to say about this. I want to find out answers, and I want to know it now. It's my money, and I need it now. <laughs> uh, it's my info, and it. I need it now. Actually, wait, hold on. Um, hold on. Can I just, I just quickly it. check something? Uh, I need to double check because I think mainframes actually have a Comtech rating of their own that, like, they can they have security. Yep, they do. Security. Yeah, they so, do. Like, yep. So I just need um, to see what... I'm going to be. Yep. I'm actually utilizing my um cunning ability to be able to push the roll more than once. Okay. Do it. Whoa! Ooh. Beat nice. that mother. <laughs> Fucker. Uh. What was that? I was saying beat that <laughs> motherfucker. Exactly. That's that seven. Uh yeah, no. The the mother on that on that ship, uh or on that station rather, uh is basically powerless to to resist your <laughs> like determination with contact. Um so you have uh I think in terms of interfacing with it, like one success equals one question, like a, a bit of intel. Uh so, you crack the Pretty system. Pretty much. I, yeah. So. Yep. So, what do you uh, what do you ask it? I'm gonna turn around and say one of the one of the stunts from this. Obviously, I would have like uh, what we used one to break into the system. That means I've got like six things I could play. Go ahead. A maximum six of six additional actions. Okay. So one, uh, Drake will probably go ahead and try to search for all information in relation to those creatures. If she can, um, and maybe ask the question of what are these qu creatures? Uh, the answer you get is that you know the data is inconclusive. There are no records because what you find out from the records of Theseus Station, based on connecting to their mother unit, is they brought the eggs. Or, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, you obviously by then I would probably assume they were eggs. You, they they found the eggs in a cave, and mm -hmm. they didn't know, like, they were frozen solid, so they didn't really know what the hell they were. So they basically brought them to the station, because, and keep in mind, because they didn't know what they were, and they were frozen solid. They're like, okay, it was probably maybe some sort of alien artifact. So they bring it back to the station, and yep. they, um, you know, they, they aren't really able to do proper testing, so they go, okay, we're going to take this somewhere else where we can do tests, but by that point, they had thawed, and they just didn't realize it. They have no data at as for, like, what they are, other than, like, well, okay. we found them in a cave, and they were frozen solid. Okay, so that's you know all more than question? they do. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so then the next question would be is, what was company orders in relation to... Um, obviously the company would have been informed about it. Um, so she's going to see what exactly the company had said to them and what uh, Theseus Station had sent to them to, to indicate what they have found. Well, so Theseus Station is a Wayland yutani outpost. So it's not mm -hmm. like some third-party like salvage team oh, yeah, or yeah, like, yeah, surveyors no, no. I know that. found yeah. these things. Like It's basically them, it's as simple as them going like, hey, we went on a, on a you know, a, a scouting run onto this planet. We found these caves. We found these mm -hmm. things inside. Should we take them back up to figure out more what they are? And the answer they got was yes. Okay. So the company pretty much did they? There was no acknowledgement of what exactly they knew. They have. Okay. They have no idea what these things are. As okay. I said before, you know more than they do. Right. Um. Who was that other individual that got us to sign off on things? 
the guy uh, that wanted you to sign, like basically the equivalent of like a UPS guy, his name was Hartley. All right. Um, she would like to do a bit of research on, uh, try to see what she knows about uh, what exactly is there about Hartley on that station, like what's um, his connections and so forth. Hartley is Wayland Utani contracted, of course. Uh, he's mm -hmm. basically the equivalent of like the the supervisor. Not necessarily, he's not necessarily the one calling the shots, but he's more like the uh, the one who handles like the manager handles everything but he's the one who has more direct involvement with cargo transfers so he was basically just you know doing his job of okay. like saying like so basically it's like, it's, like, has... it's like hi sign here to say that you got the package he's basically doing that for like protocol like standard protocol of like okay we want to we want it logged that you picked up the cargo and basically, when hmm. you go somewhere else, like when you go to your destination, they're going to ask you the same thing. Sign here to, you know, say you hmm. delivered it. So he's, yeah. that, that's that's all he does. So that's currently three questions. Okay. Um, because the way I'm think I'm trying to put it together is I'm trying to see if there's any connection to see if for some reason there's anything, uh, mis uh, something of misgivings of what was going on. Um, so, uh, the last three I would sit around and say if there's any possible way to maybe connect um, these creatures to anything else that maybe the Wayland yutani mainframe would know, since obviously all information is updated across the board. Um, if anything similar has actually appeared of, of similar nature in other systems or sectors. They mention they're, like, they don't give you what it is, like, the exact specifications... Mm -hmm. But there is, there are reports that, you know, there are similar, there have been similar sightings of creatures like the ones you described. Right. Like, they don't have exact, like, bio, like the biological equipment, like, technical specifications on what they are, but they but are saying, descriptive. these have been, we have, we have had encounters with stuff very similar to, like, what you described. Okay. <laughs> Then I would definitely say in this case that was, also, that's more than... if I may, yep. um so you do have, you know, two more stunts. They can be a question and something like covering your tracks or uh two Oh questions. yeah. Um okay, so I'm gonna use one last uh one with what I can oh my it's only questions. Um Well no, you can cover your tracks. Yeah, I know I can cover my tracks, but I was just wondering if I was going to go ahead and do something that would have been naughty, but I don't think I need to in this case, because that's what I was originally also going to do. Um, but yeah, Drake's just going to turn and go, all right, so we've got something similar. Re she's going to relay this information over to Del uh, Delacroix so that she's got the same information as me, sharing it, being caring. Um, and finally, she's just going to turn around and go, um... Who set up Thessis Station in this system? Will be the final question before she covers her tracks. Uh, Theseus Station is uh, Wayland Utani built. It was constructed about uh, like a couple of years ago, um, just for as like their sort of. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the word for it, but sort of like their stake in the sector. Like, mm -hmm. they built it there, and then they're like, well, I mean, it's in orbit over this this moon, so we might as well see what's down there. So that sort of thing. Like, it, was, it wasn't it was originally set up for the sake of, uh, you know, studying these things, because it was pure chance that they found them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That, I, I was more just, just seeing who signed off yeah. on Well, I was Way it's signing. Wayland Utani. Okay. The company so there was no specific... Okay, oh, I was thinking of a specific person who might have signed off uh, on oh, the, no, no, no. the There's... whole thing, but okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. And then finally, the last one will be to cover tracks. Okay. Um, so that's your uh, interface with Mother. So meanwhile, we're, I'm going to focus on Beta. So, um, Madeline, so you are in uh, the medical bay. Um, yep, my pods all this, throwing this person in the yeah. auto dock as I'm looking at all of that fun yeah. stuff. So what I will do, because uh, I actually had something cool for uh, um, medical aid. 
Um, if now, now one option I was going to have was analysis, but that was for the creature. If you want to check on Madel or, uh, Natalie, you could do medical aid. You have two options there. You can. Yeah, either I rolled uh, medical aid already, so I got oh, three did. hits. Okay, three yeah, hits. Yeah, and I got okay. a panic condition. Okay, so um, the three pieces of information. So um, you you're able to determine that if this thing wanted to, based on the fact that it's around her neck, it could kill her by way of either asphyxiation or breaking her neck, but it's keeping her alive for some reason. And then next. Um, aside from wrapping around her head, uh, this creature has not physically harmed her at all. Though you're not able to see her face for obvious reasons, scans show it is perfectly intact and there's been no blood loss from her body, so this thing isn't sucking her blood like a tick. And then the last piece of information, there is some slight irritation in her esophagus about where the end of, you know, like, there is a proboscis in her neck, like down her throat, and it's about like halfway to her stomach. And there's some irritation around that area, but it could potentially be an allergic reaction due to, you know, like, there being no, like, there was a trope on TV tropes about, like, alien contamination, that sort of thing. So it's basically kind of like that. Yeah, uh, that. she's already contaminated. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, no, that's not good. Oh, we are so contaminated. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I'm what I'm thinking is, you know, because I know, uh, you know, people are going to start having to head out for the cyberpunk game, and you know, I've got some things going on too, like very soon. Uh, is this okay if we end this on this cliffhanger? Sure, sure. Okay, cool. Um, so let's do XP. Um, so let me get the um, uh, what should we call it? Uh, oh yeah, player rules. Um. Yeah. So, where's developing your character? Can okay. I just quickly, can I, because I've got, I didn't realize I had like six experience points there. Can I quickly just roll to get that out of the road? Yeah, you can do that. And and All keep right. in mind, there's no limit on how many you can have. Yeah. I know, I just, that way I can, it's easy for me to track. Yeah, well, yeah, go ahead and roll, uh, like, are you rolling for a talent right. or increasing a skill? No, nope. uh, increasing uh, my comtech skill. Okay, increase your comtech then. Um, so, uh, does everybody have their character sheets up? Oh. Yep, I've got it up. Okay. Everybody gets one point for participation automatically, and I should also mention if anybody mm -hmm. has, like, full uh, XP on the sheet, then you can just, like, make tally marks or something like that, or, like, on your character yeah. sheet. In the meanwhile, uh, Hanna's going to get herself repaired. That's okay. everything else. All right. Um, so that would be a contact roll. Um, uh, so everybody gets one point for participation. Uh, if you... Did something to further your personal agenda, um, then okay. So that would be. I think you heal one point of damage, like one per each success. Um, so you get one point of health back. Um, so if you did something, if, you know, you follow your personal agenda, that that is uh, a point. And if anybody wants me to check their sheet and get my thoughts, I will. Yep, I definitely have. Okay. Um, did you risk your life for your buddy? My buddy's already gone off the ship, so I have no buddy. <laughs> I risk my life all the time for Drake. From well, in this times. case, he didn't risk it for Drake because you and Drake were not yeah. in the same like combat encounter. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, if you have you know if you have a rival and you stood up to them. Uh, then you get a point. McCoy. <laughs> I think McCoy stands up to everyone. <laughs> McCoy is such a misanthrope, I swear. Um, so... You think he'd love the synth then, but... Oh. Um, and then... Uh, uh, so let's see. Uh, so challenge to your rival. Uh, anybody who made a panic roll, like, I know Madeline made one, like, right at the end, so that's, that's a no-brainer. So nope. You get, okay, you get a point for a panic roll if you made one. Um, if you overcame, a, uh, yes. In the short term, <laughs> yes. You're not out of the woods yet, but in terms of this, like the first encounter with the face huggers, you killed two of them, so you overcame the dangerous event on that level. Mm. Um, I don't think I would have in this case. 
yeah, you didn't. You and Sierra were uh, at the bridge, so you didn't. Yeah, we were relaxing. Yeah, just chilling out as your friends were getting attacked by like face huggers. Um, Good life. <laughs> uh, significant discovery. Well, oh hell yeah! Um, you found out that the objects were not objects; they're fucking eggs. Um, and extraordinary action of some kind. Uh, the... I killed two face huggers. Two face huggers without splashing acid all over everybody. Yes, that's um, yeah, that was pretty <laughs> extraordinary. The Comtech roll, uh, where Drake was just like totally driven to um, but it got like a bunch of successes. Like, oh, I'm hacking mother, uh, and you know, getting a lot of information on. Yeah, you know, like get get some more information on the situation. Oh, uh, well, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, no. I, uh, stress dice doesn't count for wits, sadly. Ah. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Um, <laughs> but uh, so so Drake, Hana, uh, Madeline, I'll say it was pretty ballsy the way you like bitch slapped that face hugger away from your son and then to Hana. Um. And you all do get a point uh, for earning money. Because everybody got paid. Hey. Even the droid. Um, even the droid. <laughs> yep. So, uh, and then if anybody wants to uh, change their buddy and or rival, you can. And also if anybody wants to, you know, roll uh, talents or increase their skills, you can. I'll change the bite to Delacroix. <laughs> I try to get a talent, but you know. Well, I mean, you can also. What kind of talent is it? Other people can teach yeah. you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What is the I'll talent? I'll try reckless, but. Oh, yeah, nobody has. Oh, yeah, something. no one's going to teach you that. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can only show you the path. You must walk it alone, Grasshopper. Oh, <laughs> like your seafood. Um, so uh, you could now. I mean, if you have enough XP, uh, you could potentially roll for another talent. I got like fourteen now. <laughs> Damn. Oh God, you can do as many as you want, Matt. You can do two more. Yeah. Well, no, because remember what I told you at the beginning of the session. Enough time has passed where if you want to try to get that one again, that you tried rolling at the start of the session, you can try that again. Okay. So you get another shot at it. Um, you want to just roll wits? Yay! There you go. Yeah. What was the talent? Uh, reckless. Okay, reckless. I will add that to your sheet. Um, so, Sweet. Uh, where are items? All right, there you go. You got reckless now. Awesome. So remember to subtract the 5 XP now that you actually successfully used it um okay. all right uh any other questions comments concerns uh no i'm going to roll for weapon specialist for uh for the the electro or uh, the automatic electrostatic pistol yeah, nice um didn't you already have that talent or was that on your bucket no list? that was no that was on my bucket list because i had it on my other drake character oh right um, let me do my, uh, let me get rid of the stress for a second. Bingo. Nice. All right. All so right. I have weapon uh, specialist for the ES4. Very nice. Um, mm -hmm. any other talents or anything anybody wants to do? Um, what I'll do, because this is some relationship. I just got mobility up, so now I have max mobility. Yeah. Max teleportation achieved. Right, I'll just, fast. I just have to. I'll just add three bonus to the electrostatic pistol for me. Three. Uh, because it's because the weapon specialist is be, to add a, specialist a modifier two. of two. Uh, but the the yeah. the ES four has one automatically factored in. So you don't. Yeah. Need to add so if I three. add the two. If I add additional two, that it equals it up to three. Okay, I know. I'm just saying you don't have to add three because it only adds two, but it adds up to three. Oh, does, oh. 
Okay, because I was trying uh, to go ahead and add yeah, modifier. Yeah, change the bonus three. to a three. That because that's what I was trying to do. Oh, okay. Then, all right, that, that makes more sense. Um, well, hope everybody had fun. Yep, oh, yeah, I did. It's an extra stack pistol. I think it is. Bingo. Uh, it's a pistol from Prometheus. It's basically as described in this game. It electrocutes you when you get shot. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing. Um, so, what does that make me have now? I'm just gonna do a, a practice roll of my um of this, so I can see how yeah. how the rolls look. Yep, I'm happy with that. Yeah, that'll nice, do. Nice <laughs> so, uh, well, thanks guys for showing up. That was a that was a fun session.